Hello Internet, it's been about a week since I uploaded. I've been very busy designing a bunch of parts, as you can see here, uh, for the version 2 of the automatic kalimba. Uh, that video will come out probably next week, because there's still a bit of designing I have to do, and printing I have to finish up. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to upload a video of how to import an object, like a physical object that exists in reality, and put it into Fusion 360 so you can design stuff around that. So in my personal case, I had to design everything to fit around the individual notes of the kalimba. So I needed to get the exact measurements of each note and where it is in, relatively to each other and in 3D space. So I had to take a picture of it and then import that into Fusion 360 to get the exact measurements. And I'll show you that exact process right now. Okay, so this is the setup. I have my softbox as a light source so I can create a high contrast image of my kalimba. So I can convert that to an SVG and then open that in Fusion 360. All right, so we're gonna try to make as high contrast of an image as possible. So we're gonna try to separate the foreground from the background. The foreground being the metal notes in this case and the background being the wooden sound box itself. So we're gonna try to angle this to create as high contrast of an image as we can. Uh, just try your best. And once we get that image, we're gonna edit it in our default photo editing app. So we're gonna first rotate it and then crop it to focus on the exact subject that we care about. Then we're gonna take contrast, make it really high, uh, shadows, warmth, highlights, and uh, saturation all go really low and then mesh with the exposure value to make it as black and white as possible. We wanna make it as black and white so that we properly create a good SVG file and then rotate it to align it with the top of the image so that everything is perpendicular and set in stone. This is the final image that we have. Now we're gonna take this JPEG file and go to convertio.co to create an SVG file. So it's really, really important that we create a really good black and white image photo because that's really helpful in creating a proper SVG file. You'll see here that the result that's created is a really high contrast photo. And this only came out this good because we made a proper high contrast photo beforehand. So now we're gonna go into Fusion 360, go to insert and insert our JPEG image into Fusion 360. It's gonna be rotated wrong, just rotated properly. And you see that it's, re it's really, really small. So we can calibrate this to be the exact size that we want. So we're gonna first measure the size of the individual notes. It's 4.03 or 02. So we're gonna use that to calibrate our image. So we're gonna to go to calibrate and then pick two points on the image. So I'm gonna pick the length of the note and then set it to 4.03, which is what we measured. And now we have the exact measurements in Fusion 360 that we need. Then we go to insert, insert SVG and insert our SVG file. And you see that it's scaled up way too big. So we're going to try to in align this with the image that we already calibrated and then modify the values for the sizing to make sure that it's a proper size uh, and matches up properly with the image itself. So now that it pro properly matches up, we know for a fact that this is properly sized in Fusion 360. And so we can use that to make a virtual representation of our three-dimensional object that we can use to calibrate everything that we design in CAD. So you can see here that I have a bunch of servos and a bunch of racks and pinions aligned with this three-dimensional kalimba that we just made using that method. And then we can use all the positioning of all these objects to create a set of parts that are stationed around this to hold it in place. And this will end up being the version two of our automatic kalimba video coming soon. I'm trying to finish up this design. It's taking forever to print and design all this stuff. But thank you so much for watching the previous one. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Uh, I will try to get this one as out as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and see you later.